Hi guys. Um, so I have a Pioneer SBH DA250 DAB fitted. Uh, I do have a DAB aerial. I have a reverse camera fitted. Uh, but I just I wanted something that looks a bit more OEM, like an OEM plus look, that still retains the Android Auto functionality. Because I use Android. Don't like. Uh, no, I don't like Apple. I just never had an iPhone. Always preferred Android. Um, so I just purchased and it has arrived just today this uh, this is an rcd 330 plus so today i'm going to be removing the old pioneer unit and fitting this i do have the a revision l canvas gateway on the way um but it did come with a little wiring loom but i'm pretty sure there's meant to be a canvas thing on there but if it doesn't work we'll just wait because i'm pretty sure the new gateway should be here tomorrow so we'll just fit it as it is and adjust it tomorrow if need be. Um, so yeah, we're going to start removing this. Get there eventually, won't we? So remove the sunlight sensor. Plug. Here we go. Once that's out, there is, I believe, a screw in there. I don't believe there's any at the front. I believe there's just the one back there. Uh, I don't actually know what it is. I think it's a. It'll be a torque screw because it's a Volkswagen thing. Uh, let's see what we got, shall we? I reckon. Try T20 first. Where is it still? Oh, T20 was a great guess. There we go. Screw still in there, which will leave in. Tap it down there. Now there's two more torque screws holding this piece in. Also T20s, so we'll just. holding this panel in. Um, we'll adjust myself and have a little look. So, the car is too small. Yeah, no, there shouldn't there shouldn't be any more screws, so we'll just put it up like that. Now I get why everyone doesn't remove this because it's 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 a it's, it's a warning light that no, um, I'm going to leave it like that, just to demonstrate it can be done without hack on. Um, because obviously the method I was going to use was you would technically require a to turn off the airbag light. But this way you won't.
driver would probably be better but uh, use what you got I guess right and then we'll disconnect the wiring for this so what I'm removing there is the dash car and um, dash car what's the word I'm looking for uh, the reverse camera and that there I believe is the mic one, that one there I believe is steering wheel controls that's the USB that goes to the glove box so I've also got to remove all of that stuff I've got to remove the DAB area or some of you would probably leave the DAB in but that is probably going to bug me so no, it's all there so there we go that is the Pioneer radio mats are freshly clean so I can yeah. so we'll just pop this all back in here a moment we're not going to fold it in See if it works. Right, here we go. So uh, here we go. So my f I'm using my phone to record, so I can't like show you it properly. However, it does work with Android Auto, which is brilliant. So we have Waze, we have Spotify. If we press over here, you do get your long list, and we get a Volkswagen app. I don't know what the Volkswagen app does. Oh, okay. So it's just like. Oh, so just to choose between Mirror Link and Android Auto. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you get like some cool stuff uh, from Android Auto. Um, I'm assuming the Apple CarPlay works, but I don't have an iPhone to test it with. So um, I will resume the video once I try to put everything back together. Right. There we go. <laughs> so refitting is pretty much the reverse. I have got myself. I've got the boo-boo. Um, yeah, re refitting is essentially the same as Removal, uh, the only thing that's worrying me right. is, must be 18 or over. is I can turn the radio on like that. Like I said, uh, the new canvas module should sort that. Um, but let's go ahead and we're going to refit all the, all the screws. Right. 
So here we are, um, everything's all back together, um, all nice and flush. So when it's on standby mode, you get this nice little clock. So obviously ignition is on, you get this nice little clock, you press the power button and everything comes up. So I'm just going to spend a few minutes just out here setting everything up. Yeah, we've got radio, media, which we can connect, Bluetooth audio, which goes to the phone. Um, when you press scan it goes to the nearest nearest station um, phone will go to your phone book your, your app which will be Android or Apple CarPlay or Mirrorlink and then set up which is just your settings and you can go through either with the scroll or with this button here which is quite nice so yeah um, that's how to fit the RCD330 so there is a little trick you can do with the fuse box in the engine bay to stop your battery drain or you can just change the the canvas gateway i'm going to be doing the canvas gateway method haven't got it here yet so i am gonna i uh, have got a little a little portable jump pack 
<laughs> in the back ready for the morning just in case um but yeah um thank you very much for watching i hope you found this video useful or informative uh if you have give it a thumbs up and subscribe it'd mean the world um but yeah thank you very much guys and uh have a great day